Hello everyone, and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Lunar 2. We're in the epilogue, baby, and it's time to wrap it up, baby. Wrap it the fuck up. In today's episode, we are going to find a way to go to the blue star. But first, to keep our mission truly clear, let's take a quick ogle at my girl Lucia. Um, I think this is the one we had at the beginning of the game, so these other two, three, are ones we haven't seen yet. So let's just start with Luna, Lucia's Lucia Luna. Lucia's bromide number two. Another great day. Let's see what we got. Mm, mm, oh, mm, mm, oh, mm, oh, oh, nice feet, nice feet, nice feet. Mm, oh, 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 mm, oh, okay. Yeah. Definitely can't wait to get up to the blue, 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 blue star for that. All right, so the last dungeon in the game. It's actually in this forest from earlier in the game. You'll see this big blue tower in the middle. We never climbed this big blue tower ever. So once you have the right and left dragon eye jewels or whatever you just got to come back over here you'll see that these statues are broken this place looks like it's really falling apart there's crumbling stuff everywhere in fact those stairs don't look very safe hero if you use them be careful all right i know these stairs weren't here before hero why are they here now hero look at that oh snap hero i could swear i've seen this dragon's head somewhere else let me think Oh, duh. It was the entrance to the Blue Spire, remember? The Blue Spire, of course! And we opened the dragon's head with the dragon eye jewels, just like the ones we have! Hero, since the Blue Spire brought Lucia from the Blue Star to our world, I wonder if this tower will send you from our world to the Blue Star! Let's go inside and find out! Hell yeah! Who doesn't love a two-way fucking situation? Let's do it! Put them jewels in the fucking eyeball! Lefty wedge! Let's do a righty wedge as well! We're in there, dude! Hell yeah! <gasps> look, oh, wow, they screwed up the portrait again. Huh, look, hero, we did it! Now we can get inside! We're some team, huh? Totes. Let's get in there, dude. It's time, the final dungeon in the game. Alright, first thing you need to know is there are zero, zero, zero treasures up in this bitch. Also, wait, hold on. Welcome, intrepid adventurer, ye who holds the star pupil, and seeks guidance to the blue star. If true courage dwells within thee, the path shalt be revealed to thine eyes. But if thou dost not have a mind and body of sufficient strength, thou shalt draw my, thy final breath within this tower. I have the strength and I have the courage. Now can we hurry this up? Lucia's waiting for me, man. Very well, courageous one. Reveal the power of your heart. So this is the way to the blue star. Who'd have thunk it, hero? Definitely not me. Now all we have to do is find the ascent that, dra that Grandpa told us about. And you can be reunited with Lucia forever. Forever. Well, let's take a fucking first gander at our first enemy here. There are new enemies here, but there are no treasures, as I just mentioned. So we just got to deal with some bullshit. I have no idea what to expect here from the enemies at all. So I'm just going to do my usual thing where I unleash Catastrophe and let everybody clean up the mess. Is that going to work? Mega Certainly damage. hope so. Mega damage. Let's see how we do with the Catastrophe. Not great. Not great. I, f I didn't notice that those mirrors were red when she attacked. But maybe they're weak to physical attacks. They're obviously really fast. They're going before everyone on my team. Okay, so that catastrophe almost kills them, but not quite, unfortunately. Gene, over here mopping it up, dude. Mop it up, Gene. Mop it up. Mop it up, up, up. Mop it up, up, up. Mop it up, up, up. That's my girl, Gene. That's my girl, Jean, up in this. So anyway, we're strong enough to beat this game, beat this epilogue, finish up this bullshit. Let's just get through these enemies as quickly as possible and get to the top of this motherfucking tower, baby. No treasures to behold. I don't even know if this place has, like, any, like, real puzzles to deal with either. I mean, let me browse the guide real quick and see, but I don't think so. Um. Yeah. Don't need to bother with exploration. Climb all the way to the top, fight the boss, and yes, there will be one more final boss. There is one little trick to the final boss. I will explain it before we get there, or right when we get there. For now, let's just deal with our last slate of random battle enemies for the game, which are mirrors, soldiers, whatever those statue head dudes are, and I think there's still one more new enemy to fight. And heroes up another level. Let's go. Am I... Am I really going to make it to that level 60 mark that I was hoping I would and I didn't think I was going to do? I got to 59, right? I don't know if I'm going to fight enough enemies here to get to 60, but it could happen. Also, these mirror fucks are too fast. 
They're too fast, too furious. They're too fast for y'all. Mang. These floors are actually smaller than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be like a big old corridor. When I'm, with the map I'm looking at is just showing the pathways. But it doesn't really show me how big it is. It's actually kind of small. But I think the idea here is there's just so many enemies here you gotta deal with that it's just gonna be a pain in the ass to get up this tower. The only good thing is I'm very, very strong and should be okay. I wish I was a little faster, obviously. Gotta wait for these mirrors to do their thing, which is annoying as hell. But then I get to watch Gene just quip, 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 and kill all of them. So, it's cool. One thing I should mention is off-screen, I did stop by Vayne one last time to restock all my shit just in case. Because, again, I didn't know what the hell is in store for me here. Clearly, it's a little painful, so I gotta be careful. But it should be fine. should be all good. I will say right now, though, if you use up anybody's MP, don't be too worried about it. Even Ronfar, feel free to use it up. I know I got Starlights and Silverlights for a day, so that's one reason, but... Overall, I'll just tell you now, it's okay to use up MP and not worry about it. I would only conserve heroes, or you don't even have to do that, because you got silver lights at this point. If you don't have silver lights, then what the fuck are you even doing with your life? And even though this is all mirror wars, I'm still going to use Catastrophe. That way I can just mop them all up. Gotta rock that cat as trophy. I rock you cat trophy. Even though I'm going to have to watch all of them attack me. Bloop. Bloop. Lap, and then swaggity baggity and swaggity daggity. Yay! Alright, then watch as Gene unleashes hell. Unleash hell! Unleash hell! And Hero will f mop, mop, mop it, mop it up, 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 up. Ooh, run far, 59. Gene, 59. Lamina, 59. Everybody, 59. Hell yeah! There is a bunch of floors here, so there is a chance I could get to that 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 vaunted level 60. But I'm going to try to avoid as much battles as I can on the way up. It's going to be hard. These enemies are fast. We'll see how it goes. And they're all in the way with these narrow-ass corridors. God damn it. Dag nabbit. How much I can do about situ such situations. Do well. We do what we can with what we are given. And what we are given is bullshit. So fuck you with catastrophe, baby. I forgot that it actually killed that guy. Nice. Anyway, Gene's gonna finish it up. You know how we do with my girl Gene. Oh, how I will miss this adventure. But September is at an end, my friends. So this will be... This somehow worked out almost perfectly. I mean, I could have squeezed in more stuff in these last few episodes if I really wanted to, like, finish it up before September was over. But it just kind of worked out with the amount of dungeons that were left. And I was like, you know what? I think I'll time this out perfectly to where we'll finish it on the last day of September. It shall be the most perfect Let's Play I've ever done. Not true at all. But... The real question is, how long will this take me? And then how long will the ensuing ending and credits that follow up said ending take as well? We may have an extra long finale on our hands, depending on how long the rest of this tower takes me, of course. That's the main... The, the key is how long the tower takes itself. The true key to all happiness is how long does it take. How long does it take? How long does it take? Will you make or take a quake? Oh god, heal, heal, heal first. Heal, heal, heal. Hold up. Hold up enough. Oh shit, that guy flew. Oh my god, he flew so fast he went around. Fucking U turned through the door. What the hell, man? Not cool. Not cool, Mirror Man. He's a Mirror Man. He's wrecking all my shit. He's just a Mirror Man. And I don't appreciate it. He's a Mirror Man. I wish Gene was faster than it. He's a Mirror Man. He's fast as a fucking bitch. Hey! Since when a bitch is fast? I don't know. That's one fast bitch. Um, so the question is, is she fast because she's a bitch? Or she just happens to be fast and she's a bitch? Logic. Explain! Make your argument. Now! The answer? She just fast. Just the fact she's a bitch is a whole nother situation. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean. Anyway. 
Now we need the heels a little bit because my girl Lamina out of AMP and we need that shit because we catastrophe and all over these fools and it's really the fastest and best way to do this shit. It really is. It really is. So let's use a couple starlights. Star brights. Maybe a couple nuts. Give, give, my, give my kids a couple nuts. Get, get healthy with your nuts, children. Alright, we in there. Almost there. Almost there. Second floor is almost traversed. If only we didn't have four more floors to go. Yes, I know. That's a lot. We haven't even fought the last two enemies yet, have we? Been mirrors and soldier statues, and that's about it. There is one more. There is one more. And I'm ready to wreck when I see. It will be, uh, shall we say, mm, epic? Mm? Yes, epic. Mm. Please stop hitting me. I need no nothing to you yet. And you still... Oh, well, okay. Never mind. I unleash, I unleash catastrophe upon the... My B. My B. 68 hundo per fight, though. Leo with the 59! Everybody 59! Let's go! I think it would take me, like, 20 more battles to go up another level properly. I don't think we're gonna make it. Because <laughs> remember last boss fight, we, nobody went up a level. Like, that's how much... It took to go one level. It was like 60k experience. That's gonna take at least 10 fights. I'm getting 6,000 per ish. <laughs> yeah, take about 10 fights. I guess with the rate we're going, we totally could fight 10 more fights. So it could happen. Could happen. I mean, it's probably more than 10 fights. I'm just mathing it out approximately. I'm assuming we're gonna fight at least 10 more fights. Anyway. I mean, we're on the third floor right now. We just got here and we're fighting the first enemy already. We got at least. One, two, three more full floors to get through before we're at the boss floor. And thus the end. Get hype. Get hype as fuck. Get hype that you can't even sleep. Get so hype. Oh, this must be the last new enemy. You ready to say hello? Say hello to the Bomb Angel. Wow, these ones are just called Bomb Angels. I was calling them Bomb Angels before they were even called Bomb Angels. What you know about that? I don't know why I was calling them Bomb Angels before I actually fought them. Weird. Maybe they were called Bomb Angels in the previous game. They probably were. That's probably why I got the name in my head already. Or I just like the Jumping Bomb Angels, the Japanese girl tag team from the 80s or early 90s. Yeah, I know. 10,000 experience? Oh, we're going to 60. Oh, we're going to 60. It's going to happen. If we're going to get 10k experience in a battle, it's going to happen. That... That mythical level 60 is within reach, my friends. It's within reach. And it excites me greatly. I cannot wait to see the big 6-0. Oh, and then we're gonna whoop on some mother oh, This mother right here, mother oh, This shit gonna be so easy, though. Gonna beat this game and get my booty hoe. Up on the moon where I'm gonna... Uh... I don't know. I got nothing else. Sometimes when I get that flow going, I can't come. The words don't come to mind. They just don't. They don't. They don't gel. They don't gel. I don't gel like a fell. Um, where's my where's my MP looking? Um, I mean we can just. We're already stopped. We might as well heal it now. Oh, the shake! Did you see that? Split the D, get between the BZs, and move on for easy. Oh, yeah. Again, even though I do want to get to that level 60, I'm going to try to avoid as many battles as possible. I'm going to move up. I am highly motivated. We must get my booty. Must get my booty. Speaking of which, we got to at least take one more one more motivational look at a, at a bromide before we get there. One more motivational look. Hey, don't be doing that to my girl. Don't be doing that. Get me my Lamino out of this. She over there just chilling in the back row. Unleashing hell. And you over there smacking in the face with your mirror. That is not very nice of you. Sir. Let me get out of here before that mirror comes and wrecks me. Alright, hold up. Um. Yeah, I was going to just heal a little bit. My boy run far, dude. Oh, no, no. Whoa, 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 I just want to make sure my dude that lives lives fast and runs far that he uh, healed everybody up. I didn't want to go through life low HP. Can you imagine going through life low HP? Shit would be depressing. And no bueno. Hmm. I'm 
trying to think of like hit points in real life. If you had low hit points, what does that mean? It means you don't feel good. It means you're, <laughs> you need to be. You need some potions to cure yourself. You need to bust out some of those mega cure spells. You need to go to the Pokemon Center and get fucking fighting fit. It's good times to equivocate something like HP to life. But it's true, like, hit points, I mean, in a way, is like our the energy of life that you have. It's, I mean, it's, that's kind of what they're equivocating you with anyways, I think. You get beat up so badly that you get knocked out. It's the energy that you have. If you think about it scientifically and realistically like a real human, I guess that makes sense. How many hits would it take to knock you out? Mama said knock you out. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, mom came and knocked me out. Am I level 60 yet? God, I want to be 60. Oh, oh, oh. Is it gonna make me fight this last enemy before I get to the door? Probably. Wait, is there another enemy? Oh no, we're clear. All right, well, before we go up one more staircase, we'll take a moment to ogle another picture of Lucia, shall we? Let's check out the blue starlight. Let's do it. Aw, adorable. She wears a full-on nighty and everything. Nice. Adorbs. <laughs> nice. All right, and as for the last bromide, we will take one quick gander at it right before we end this game. You know me. I got to drag out the suspense. We got to keep the motivation high. You know. It'll be the last bromide we look at in the entire game. Because we already looked at all the rest, I think. I don't think we missed any. Pretty sure we looked at all the rest. It's hard to say for sure because I didn't use them all as thumbnails since we got more than we had videos left, man. It's crazy. If I would have had more of those motherfuckers along the way, I would have put them all in the thumbnails along the way. Fuck putting whatever I put. I would have put females across the board, man. We would have had a thumbnail for every single one of them. But no. Gotta save it for the post game. Because why wouldn't I want to fucking get a one where Gene is throwing Hero on the ground? Like karate style. Yeah. Sexy. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. The one where she's fucking, like, passed out because she fucking had a super sweet, drunken night. I'm, I mean... Yeah. That one. Remember that one? I'll remember that one for the rest of my life. <laughs> I do vaguely remember taking a few looks at that one when I was younger. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Just a few looks, you know, because it doesn't pause. You could just pause it on it, and you wouldn't have to take it. You just take one long. No, i got to click on it a hundred times to make sure I can get every detail out of that picture, you know? Photographic memory style, dude. Alright, anyway. Keep running. We must make it to the next room. We'll get there. Oh, we'll get there. we still got two more floors to go. So, don't hold your breath yet. Just... Oh, shit, I didn't heal my MP. Lucky she had enough for one more. Whoopsies on that. Oh, this is going to end up being a long episode, I think. I don't know. Depends on how long cutscenes and the ending and if there's going to be full credits and all that. I don't even know if it plays a full credits again. It might. Or it might just go to an end screen. I'm not 100% sure I know what's going to happen once we beat the game. I mean, I know there will be cutscenes, but I don't know how many or how long or what, what comes after. So we'll see. We shall see. Don't be throwing the bottom half of your jaw at me, sir. It's been a while since Run Far got to have a turn. Let alone Leo. I need to heal super bad now, cause La Mina ain't got no more MPs, and all my bitches are super dying, and it's all bad for me, and it's bad. I'm gonna be dying real quick now. Hurry up and heal my shit, because I'm dying across the board, and I will be just fine. Where's that? Fucking. Damn, I still need 33k, so that's like eight more battles? No. That's like six more battles. Six or seven. Say probably six. As long as the battles are, you know, uh, 6k a pop at least. If we get ones that are more than 6k, we'll probably get there in five. I think it's safe to say we'll fight about five more battles before we get to the top. Like, 
again. We have two more floors to go after this floor. Pretty safe to say. And these first four floors have been riddled with enemies. Good lord. God, God, lord. Good God, lord. Good God, Lord, thank you for blessing me with a girl like Jean and a, another fellow like Lamine and my boy Leo and my boy Romfar. Ruby's okay, but we'll go far. What? I don't know. I'm babbling again. I'm Babble Master, here I am. They call me Babble Master. Not Bubble Master, Babble Master. It's all babble all day about nothing and nonsense. Mega damage! It's just what I say. I don't pray. It's a, it's a fucking I don't even know, dude, to be on now. Ugh, blah, 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 blah. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm okay. Shit hasn't hit the fan quite yet. It's on its way to hitting the fan. It's just on a slow trajectory very slow velocity it might take a little bit more force to get that shit to hit that fan just a little bit sooner than it is right now god damn that mirror on my dick bastard bastard Dennis is a, Dennis is a bastard man oh I did say that Cleaning house. It's gonna take a few extra battle, or at least one extra battle, because these last two battles are only gonna be 5k with these shitty ass two statue head, two mirror situations. Oh. Invincibility frames do not last at any time when you fight the battles normally. It's crazy. He's okay. He's just crazy. That's all. He's crazy. It's so crazy that I start talking. He's crazy accident and no sense. So crazy. Super crazy. Super crazy. Don't know how he's doing. Also, I need to heal him in his MP. Frosty is logging. It's not good. 57 experience? That's not enough. We're going to need, need like at least like three times more that if we want level up like I want. Must hit level 60. We're definitely going to hit 60, by the way. It's going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. We're burning through MP like it ain't nobody's business, but it's fine. It's, it's, this is fine. We haven't even touched the silver light yet, so we're doing just fine. Alright, so we're on floor number five. I think this is the fourth, fifth, fifth floor. We've gone up four staircases, so this is the fifth floor for sure. Fifth floor indeed. One, one more. One more full floor after this, and we'll be at the busy boss, my friends. This dungeon is taking a bit longer than anticipated because of these motherfuckers don't want to die and shit. But that's okay, because I expect it from the final dungeon in the game. I'm just glad it's not gonna take two episodes to get through it. I'm like the fucking Zofar shit and bullshit. <laughs> ah, the Zofar dungeon. Good times. Zofar dungeon for the win, dude. Who doesn't love that place? Also, what's the best way? Let me look at the map. Um, yeah, just go straight down, I guess. Oh, damn. Look at all these dudes. Look at all these dudes, man. They're dudes everywhere, dude. Dudes everywhere, dude. You guys like dudes? Because there's dudes everywhere, man. If you don't like dudes, then you're going to be all dudeed out, bro. If you're dudeed out, then it's going to be a duty day. No one likes duty days. Duty days suck, man. Like, y'all don't even know. Did you stop hitting Leo, you bitch? You bitch. Die, you bitch. Let go of her, yo, bitch. There's that hero level, dude. City. Feeling so pretty with that city. Feeling so pretty with that city. And we ain't even on the last float yet. It's crazy. It's crazy. C -c crazy. I don't know. It's like popping a few passion fruits. I won't, definitely won't need 20 of those bitches. That door over there to the left below is a decoy. There's nothing down there. Don't take the bait. Also, more bomb angels. We haven't seen them for a minute. 
About to get everybody to level 60 on this one. This is our uh, fountain of experience points. El Fountain. Watch my girl Jean. She mops it up. Mop, mops it up. Mop, mops it up. Watch my girl Jean. She mops it up. And then plops a cup on your fucking neck. Oh, that doesn't even make any sense. I don't know. I, I don't even know what I just said. Words came out of my mouth. It didn't make any sense. It kind of rhymed. They were real words. You can at least give me credit for that, right? <laughs> Mega damage. I just don't know what else to talk about. I, 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 there's just been no story to talk about in this entire epilogue, so I just have to sit here and babble through dungeons and babble through dungeons and babble through dungeons because it's all there is to do with very little dialogue or anything to talk about other than we have a mission, we have some bromides to ogle at, we have a mission, we have some bromides to ogle at. Oh yeah, we have a mission, and we also have some bromides to ogle and schmogle at. Oh, I almost made it without one more fight. Damn. So close. So close. One more group of these fucks, and then we'll be on the final floor that we have to go through with enemies. And then we should be at the end. It's kind of exciting. It's kind of a big deal. You should be more giddy right now. Not me. I'm fine. I'm, I'm all I'm all a titter right now. I'm a titter on Twitter right now. But y'all is y'all need to get you need to get on my level. Get up there. Pick up your shit. Get on my level. Otherwise, take your weak shit back home and don't even fucking bring that shit in my house anymore. Because I'll swat that shit into the crowd. The crowd will be like, what the fuck? This shit should have been way up here, bro. But you left it down here and he swatted that shit all out the house. You know what I'm saying? Did that make any sense? You know what I'm sizzling? I didn't fucking think so. Anyway. Step your game up, players. Step your game up. That's how we do. Let's get to this fucking last staircase, shall we? Wrap it, wrap it. So many enemies in the way. So many enemies in the way. So many in the way. Almost tempting to run away. But the battles don't take very long anyway. So I might as well just fight them anyway. Wait, wait. Let me just Doesn't matter anyway. Use it all up. Hey, hey. Today. Let's go. They're not saying it. Not saying it. Not saying it. I don't know what I almost said. I just stopped right there because who knows what would have came out of my mouth actually. Could have been a combination of many things. But instead it was nothing. So Use your imagination. Get these jumping bomb angels out of my hizzity. Out the hizzity, bro. Off the heezy for sheezy. 10k for that be easy. Everybody's already 60, except for my boy Leezy. He'll be there really quick if we fight a couple more beezies, which we probably will be because there's two more of these beezies. All up in my feezy. I'm going to eat some cheeses. What? I don't know. I just felt like trying to work, use the, throw the word cheese in there. I need some cheeses. Man, I just reminded myself that I love cheeses and I haven't had any for a while. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. Seriously, when's the last time I had some cheeses? Man. Now I'm like, why don't I have cheese this right now? What's wrong with you? Funky, what's wrong with you? They were their favorite cheesy cheese cheese. It's they were the it, dude. They're the it snack. They're the cheese it's. How do you not eat them every day of your life? How do you live with yourself without cheese it's? I mean I have Starburst, which really is the best thing. So I guess that answers the question there. How can I live without cheese it's with Starburst? That's how. Okay, so I believe this is the final door for the final floor. Before I go up there, because I have no idea if we're going to jump right into battle or what, let's ogle the final bromide of the game. Splendor in the grass. Y'all ready for this? Da da da. Oh. 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 That's the look on her face. She's like, oh. Anyway, okay, well. That, that was that. Did you enjoy that? Lucia's bromides are definitely nowhere near schmexy. But let's be fair. She had cutscenes where she was just flat out naked. So, you know. Let's give her a break. Her bromides don't have to be nude. Alright? Alright. 
Anyways, guys, we are at the very top of the Star Dragon Tower. By the way, I never called it that, did I? It's called the Star Dragon Tower. And it's the end of the game. Just make sure Hero is equipped and ready to go. I'm actually going to switch something on him real quick. I'm going to give him this Talisman. Because you definitely want him to have elemental defense. And you might as well just have him have all the elements. You won't need to worry about status changes. So, yeah. Let's put the elemental defense on him. Keep the healing ring, of course. And otherwise, there's not really anything else you can do. And yes, I'll say right now, this final battle is a Hero solo situation. So, make sure Hero is ready. That's why you want him equipped up and ready to go. Say hello to the final boss. <laughs> Are you the one who seeks the blue star? The impudent human who dares to challenge my superior power with nothing more than courage? Who who are you? Show yourself! <laughs> I'm surprised that you fail to recognize me, Red Dragon. Do you not feel the presence of one of your own? Do you not realize I am the Star Dragon? Oh, shit. What in the world? I am the guardian of the ancient bridge that joins this world to the Blue Star. There are many years that yet to pass before the Blue Star will awaken from its deep sleep. And I cannot allow anyone to disturb that sleep until the time of awakening. Whatever reasons you may have for traveling to the Blue Star are meaningless to me, human. I command you to leave this place at once and to never return. I must reach the Blue Star! I must find Lucia. Don't you understand? She needs me, just as I need her! What could possibly... What could she possibly require from a human being? You think she has a... To stick it... She doesn't have one of those. I don't know yet, but that's why I have to go. Lucia's all alone in a barren, hostile place, trying to fulfill her mission to return it to life. And I love her too much to let her shoulder that burden alone. I know that if I were there, I could find a way to help her revive the Blue Star. And then someday, when it's ready to be inhabited again, I want to be there with Lucia. I want to be with the one I love. You must let me pass. You defy me, human? <laughs> Despite that I have... Beside all that I have told you. We defeated Zophar to save this world, and I am prepared to defeat you to save Lucia. As you wish. Say hello to my friend. He's called... He, he's he's called his his name is I'll tell you in a second his name is his his name is Star Guardian and he looks kind of badass he's a little green for my taste but he still looks cool uh, all right it's pretty straightforward use triple sword yeah <laughs> use triple sword and heal hero as go that's all you can do it's hero by himself it's literally as straightforward as you could possibly get as long as you're high enough level just manage it correctly and you will be just fine. There's really nothing you can do wrong or right. Other than not heal yourself when you need it. Um, I think if he does that attack, you want to heal. So I'm going to go ahead and bust in that real quick. Because that attack is non-elemental. The one you just hit us with. But he has like four other attacks that are all elemental. And they should all do way less damage. So let's see... Oh, by the way, he has 10,000 experience, or 10,000 HP. So, you know, a good, what, seven triple swords should kill him? Wait, do the math. 1,500. Yeah, seven. Seven should kill him, if not less. I did the math right. Because each one of these is doing a little over 1,500. Should be right. You can, if you can wreck him with four, four, uh, seven triple swords, you're in there. You should only have to heal a couple times. And yes, this is the final fight of the game. Yes, that's what I said. This is it. After this, you've done it. The game is over. The, the, the game. The, the game is over. It's it's so hard. Most, it might, this might be the hardest battle we've ever done. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna wait and heal on the turn when he does the non-elemental. Like he's not boosting any of his attacks or anything. Like he has no buffs. So like I'm not even concerned at all. I'm literally just gonna thwack, thwack, thwack. Thwack, 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 and 
Wizard. Also, I think he's about to do the non-elemental attack again right now. I believe that little blue sparkle he has on his unicorn horn is the signal that he's going for the non-elemental. Indeed, that is the signal. That's the signal, yo. Don't let him fuck your shit up. So I think, luckily, he doesn't ever actually stack the non-elemental attack twice in a row, so you never have to worry about that situation. Heal! That's kind of nice, right? I think so. You just gotta concern yourself with one time and then a heal. The rest of them are easy if you're blocking the elements. Yeah, you definitely want to have the Spirit Talisman, because all these different attacks are different elements. So I think the idea is to have the Spirit Talisman or deal with elemental damage for across the board. Or you could potentially have um, one of the elemental rings on that blocks two of the four. So you'd be taking less damage from two of the four elements. I guess that would make sense. Actually, what that, or you can put both on and you'll be blocking everything. If you can somehow find a combination that blocks all four of them. Which there probably is. I've never really thought about it, but I'm sure there is. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use one final Starlight before we're ready to, to end this. I think I've already hit him about six times, so this may be the final blow right here. Y'all ready to finish this shit? You ready to jump down, pound town, finish this right now? I know I am, dude. It's LP. Needs a proper end. Filled with blue moon booty. Let's get some of that. Uh, yeah. And got him. Let's go. All that work and you didn't get squat. Story of my life. <laughs> you fought with skill and strength like I have never seen, human. You have earned passage to the Blue Star. I have witnessed the power of your love for Lucia, human. I only hope that it is strong enough to help you survive the harsh landscape of the Blue Star. This is but the first step on a long and treacherous road. Find your footing on the road, human, and find the hope that lies buried among the stars, amongst the stars. I shall wait here and believe that your love has the power to make dreams into reality. <laughs> If you can dream it, you can do it. Go now, hero. The way is open to you. Go to the blue star. Go to Lucia. Yes. Oh, I can't wait. What's that? Uh, it's a crystal teleporter, duh. It's the star dragon crystal. I guess this is where we have to say goodbye. Goodbye, bye, bye. Cutscene? Oh, Hero, yeah. the time is now at hand for us to part ways, but this time we do so as friends. I shall wander this land in search of my true destiny while you seek yours with Lucia on the Blue Star. Well, good luck. Until now, I thought I was the biggest gambler on Lunar, but it's you. I don't know what lies ahead of you on this journey, but I'm sure you'll manage to win it all in the end. So I'm betting it all on you. Well, that's my pep talk. See you, Chief. Hero, yeah, this is so very dangerous. I wish you could stay here with me, but I guess that wouldn't really be fair to Lucia or you. But, but then... Some of what Ruby says is really true, you know, Hero. But then I... I'm sure you'll make it back to Lucia just fine. I have faith that you can do what you dream. So get out of here before I cry. Go! I mean it! Oh, I'm really mega bad at saying goodbye like this. But this isn't like a final forever goodbye, is it? You're just going out to pick up a friend. Oh... Oh, my kitty. <sighs> Hurry back, hero. Aw. Such a touching ending. I'm not even kidding, dude. Shit is, shit is good, man. Shit is good. So good. Alright, y'all. Here we go. Oh, do 
have to just go? Do I have to just go for it? I have to just go for it. Let's do it. No hesitation. Blue Moon Booty, I'm on my way! Whoa. Sorry. I turned up the volume so I could actually hear the cutscene. I gotta remember that uh, I did that. The cutscenes are so fucking quiet, man. I gotta remember to turn that up when I, in post when I'm editing that shit. And away we go! Salusha. Put some clothes on, girl. Guess who? <gasps> Hello! We did it. We got him some blue moon booty. What you know about that? Let's go. Anyway, as we watch one more credit roll, I guess. That's kind of cool. I didn't remember. I, like I said, I don't remember like any of this shit. So, awesome. The LP is can the the, the the LP can officially end now, which is pretty neat. Um, there is one final reward for finishing the epilogue. If you've seen me play Lunar One or have played Lunar One yourself. You might already know what it is, because it's the exact same thing for beating that game. Although in that game there wasn't an epilogue, um, there was an ending that you you know if you beat the end and get it for real, that you beat the game, you get a get a little bit of a perk, you know, a little bit of a bonus, if you will. I don't know how long the bonus will be. That's my main concern right now. So we're gonna just sit here and wait and see. I don't know if we're gonna get a full credits again, but that's fine. But anyway, I think I kind of reflected on the LP overall already in the finale episode when we beat Zofar, but I'll kind of reiterate myself a little bit. I love this game. Played the absolute hell out of it when I first got it until I got stuck at that white dragon cave thing. Took a long break, came back to it, and then I beat it. And boy, I was not disappointed. This game is really, really good. As good as, maybe even better than the first one. I mean, now that I've replayed them both, I can probably conclude that this one's better in, mo in pretty much most regards. I mean, there's not really anything like worse about it, for sure. Fucking Hero and Lucia finally make out, good lord. Can we just get like a full on make out scene where they don't fucking pan away? Come on, man. I deserve that! After all this, give me that. Give it to me. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. I don't know. It's fucking great. Great music, great voice acting, great gameplay, great writing. Beautifully, just beautiful graphically, even though it's like technically a little bit underwhelming graphically, but it also has these sick anime cutscenes, which I like. I don't know. So much about it to love. Sad they didn't ever continue the series on. I'm real. I really am. Like not legit continue. Like there's no Lunar Three. No legit Lunar Three. It's like a sequel in this world, like maybe when the Blue Stars revived and all that. That would be cool, but, you know, whatever. I get over it. 
to have them as self-contained great experiences from the past is good enough for me, really. I'm not one of those people who's like yearning for a sequel to something that they already killed and is never coming back. I'm alright with that. Just leave it with the goodness that it was. Don't try to bring it back and make some shitty thing that is like it but not as good. I'm alright with just letting it die. As long as there's a way to go back and play it still. And right now, this is the only way. PS1. I mean, or the other older ones like Saturn and, and Sega CD and all that shit. Which are harder to come by, of course. And a little bit more annoying to play. But, I mean, people like me preserve this shit, so hopefully, someday we'll be able to play this in some other fashion. Maybe even like a HD-ified version where this looks prettier. Not remade, but just, you know, upscaled. If they want to remake it, they better keep everything exactly the same with graphics and stuff. I mean, they kind of already did that, and they kind of ruined it. That's probably why it never blew up and made a comeback. Because they didn't really make it the same. They tried to update it and it wasn't as good because I have played the PSP version that's supposed to be a remake of the first one it's just not as good that's why they never did the second one <sighs> but anyway still doesn't change the fact that I love these games and they're still in my top 10 overall games but both one and two because I I like I say I lump them together they kind of go together obviously if I'm gonna pick a better one I think I'm gonna pick two at this point even though I have more nostalgia for number one so that's why I lump them together, because I like them both for different reasons, and I still love them both dearly, and they hold a special place in my heart, because it's not a series of games that people have, like a ton of people have played, as far as I know. So that's that's another reason why I feel like it's one of those experiences that me and so few other people have had, so I feel, I feel like there's a special group of us out there that experience these games and have the love for them like we do, or I do, whatever. So... I feel like I'm part of something with that, and it's cool. Because there's going to be a, a even bigger percentage of the population that has never played these games, and probably never will, and never know what we know. And you know what? It makes me feel special. Yeah, I said it. We're special. What you going to do? <laughs> ah, good times. And with the conclusion of this game, me or me playing this game, rather, I've almost knocked out my entire top 10 favorite games, like favorites, not best, like my favorites, I've already talked about this. We're almost done. We almost got them all done, guys. I'm pretty hyped about that. One day we'll have all 10 of them done, or 10-ish, because I do count this one, uh, Lunar 1 and 2, as part of the top 10 to get together. They count as one. But yeah, top 10's almost done. It's exciting. These two games and tactics were three that were lingering for a long time, and I finally got them done. Glad we finally got them done, guys. And that's the end, folks. Let's experience the bonus. I have to turn it up a little bit. So I can hear it. Maybe? Is it just going to jump right into it, or do we get more scenes? What? Aww. Really? I'm not doing that. Never mind. I guess we're not going to watch it. So, like when you beat Lunar 1, there's actually outtakes for all the characters' voices. I didn't know it was going to do this. I honestly thought it was all in the same... Why the fuck are the bloopers on disc 2? What the fuck? They're not bloopers, but, you know, outtakes, whatever. It's just voice the voice actors having, like, funny pieces of dialogue where they either screwed up or they're just, you know, doing different parts of the dialogue a little different, a little improvisation and stuff. It's kind of cool. They did that with Lunar 1. They also did it in Lunar 2. I'm sorry, but I'm just not... I thought it was just going to jump right into it, and then we'll just listen to it all. But if you want to watch the Lunar 2 outtakes, literally just type in YouTube right now, Lunar 2 ending outtakes, or voice actor outtakes, or whatever. And I'm sure somebody has it uploaded, I'm sure, in full. I don't know how long it is. It might be like a 20 to 30 minute thing, so I have no idea. And that's part of why I'm sad, but I'm kind of okay that I'm not going to hear it right now, because I don't have the time. So I'll probably just watch it on my own, really. I'll honestly just go to YouTube myself and watch it. Like, almost guaranteed I will do that. Because I'd love to hear them one more time since I haven't heard them since I fucking beat this game last time. But again, that's going to mark the end of this LP. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I have fucking loved these games again. Uh, man, I... <sighs> words cannot express my my the feelings these games give me. So, such nostalgia and just warm, fuzzy feeling. It's so good. It's so good. But... We're done. 
and September has also come to an end with this. And now we're going to move on to spoopier things. Hope you guys are hyped for some October LPness. LPness? <laughs> because that's what begins tomorrow. Hope you guys are hyped for that shit. October festivalnessness is on the way. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.